Today we're going to go over the basic installation of our awesome new five-stage filtration. It's a real simple installation if you have a basic modicum of technical ability. If you don't have a sink that has a pop-out, we're going to show you how you can install this in a kitchen sink that does not have a knockout for a drinking water pump. So, we're going to be installing this countertop fountain that comes with the filter system. We're going to be uh, drilling a hole through the top of the kitchen sink. And then we're going to be mounting this in an under-the-counter uh, mounting situation. Now, this can be mounted in a, in, uh, a kitchen for someone that wants to uh, um, on the wall, if there's room for it on the wall. In this particular kitchen, the best place to do this is under the kitchen sink where out of sight is out of mind. So the first thing that you need is a, a tape measure. You need to measure the distance where you're going to be marking uh, the spot for your pilot hole. You're going to be wanting to use a very small uh, drill bit to drill your pilot hole. And then we're going to be using this Christmas tree bit to get the larger hole for the shaft of this uh, fountain attachment. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to, we've already marked this hole. We're going to start a pilot hole and begin drilling. And we're going to go right through that. Now we've got a pilot hole in our kitchen sink. The next step is to shut off the water um, to the, these sinks. And we're going to be installing this underneath the countertop, which is the valve that gets us water to and from our filter system. So we have disconnected the water, as you can see. Uh, both of these faucets are in the on position. There's no water coming out. It's a good idea to have a pan or a bucket handy when you go ahead and disconnect the water under the sink because there'll be a small amount of water trapped in the supply lines between the main line and this line. We're going to do that in just a second here and we'll show you how to install this handy fit. Make sure this is good and snug because we don't want any water leakage. We'll put tape on our old fittings again so we can put this all back together. Now that we have our inlet connection with the shutoff uh, hooked up, we can remove our drip pan that held all that water that dripped out of the lines. We've sized the Christmas tree bit with the nut that goes on the bottom of our faucet so we know exactly how deep to drill our hole. Folks, what we're going to do next is we've got our hole drilled in the sink top and so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the scushion plate and the rubber washer that's included with our uh, filtration system and we're going to thread it carefully up the top to the water dispenser. And then we're going to take the rubber washer and do the same thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come and drop this through our hole to underneath the sink. Now on the bottom side, we have a ring washer, a flat washer, and a nut and so I'll go up down and put this on the bottom side next. So that's it folks. We're we're now mounted. Now all we've got to do is replace the face and connect the water lines and we'll show you that in a second. So now what we're going to do is we're going to connect the water supply line to the inlet filter and we're going to connect the drinking water tap uh, to the outlet filter and then we'll put a ball valve on uh, a handy included drain that we have if we ever want to drain this out. Uh, into a bowl or something while we're, before we change the filters. 
but it's real simple. Um, this is the connection for the supply. This is the inlet, so we're gonna connect those. And I wanna keep it out of the way of the stuff that gets stored under the sink. So I'm gonna use a little bit longer uh, piece of hose there that I really need. I can always trim it a little bit shorter if I need to. So what we do is we take the nut, thread it on the pipe, push it over top of the supply. So now we have that connected folks and you can see that and now we're gonna go thread the hose up and around and connect it into the water inlet. So folks here you have it a successful under-the-counter installation of the complete water filtration, ionization, fluoride and heavy metal removing system that also alkalizes the water without electricity, which is the natural right way to do it. And if you'll see, it has a simple shutoff valve. If you want to stop the water from flowing into your cell, you shut it off and open it up to let it flow. This is a drain valve if you're ever going to drain the filters to change or replace them. And, uh, quite easy and convenient. Now we can put the stuff back under the kitchen sink and it's just that easy in your house. So folks, if you're ready to stop drinking that fluoridated poisonous tap water, it's just this simple. The countertop, carbon free, heavy metal free, fluoride free, drinking water that's alkalized, mineralized, and oxygenated. And you can see that in these refreshing bubbles that are located inside the glass. Now that's pure water.